Welcome back, my friends. Mark the Movie Man here. I am back after my hiatus of preparing for and hence recovering from 54 hours of trivia. Yes, that's right. The team I was on took 33rd place out of 422 teams. It was a lot of fun. Look forward to playing again next year. If you ever wonder what trivia is about, just check out the documentary called Trivia Town, and you'll get you'll see exactly what the craziness, the zaniness, and the fun of playing in the world's largest trivia contest here in Great Stevens Point. Now on to today's review, which is Oblivion. Yes, starring Tom Cruise, Zoe Bell, Morgan Freeman, Olga Kurylenko, and even the Kingslayer himself. The gentleman who plays uh, Jamie Lannister, who I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but you know the guy. Anyway, we get the story of Earth. Earth at about 80 years. Earth after there was a war with aliens, and it pretty much decimated the planet, though we did win the war. Well, most of the uh, people on Earth that uh, survived went up to this big, huge orbiting colony. Well, it needs to be powered, so they have these huge generators sucking up the Earth's water, okay? And we've got drones that protect these generators, and Tom Cruise plays one of the repairmen for these drones. He helps protect them from the scavs, the remnants of uh, aliens that are on the planet that try to take out the generator, so he tries to repair and uh, protect these drones. And uh, But, you know, he while doing this, he comes across some evidence of from a crashed spaceship that brings into question everything he knows. Oblivion is a tough cookie for me to, uh, uh, to, to not swallow but to eat because I really enjoyed it visually. Uh, Joseph uh, Kosinski, Kosinski um, he did uh, Tron Legacy and he directs this and he's a, becoming a great visual director. I love it. He had a lot of wide medium shots, could see all the action scenes going on, tell what's going on. Some great visuals and directing and camera work in this film. I really liked also the pacing of this film. So he's got a lot of things going for him. I like Tron Legacy and I really like this and I like to see where he's going next uh, with his directing style because in, this movie was directed well. Also acted well. I mean Tom Cruise does great as the repairman who's in question of you know these memories that he's haunted with plus a uh, bringing into question everything he knows. He got Morgan Freeman. Well, he's freaking Morgan Freeman. You know, he, he does good in just about anything. And the rest of the cast does well with the characters they're given. Uh, you know, and then this movie, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out, though, if it's trying to be kind of an ode to great sci-fi films or trying to be a great sci-fi film itself by borrowing from other films. And it's a little hard to tell with that. And what I mean is this film has grabbed elements from and themes from all the great sci-fi films. I mean, many sci-fi films from 2001, 2010, ID4, got Star Wars mixed in here. You got Planet of the Apes feel in here. You get I there is so much that it has borrowed from other sci-fi films that I you know, I kind of took it as an ode to that, but the way the story was written, you almost get to feel like it's trying to be, you know, grab all those elements and make a really big epic film. And in that, I think it falls a little flat. The 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 screenplay in this is nothing too deep, really. There's potential for deepness there, but it's not. It's rather predictable as well. I talked to a manager uh, in uh, the movie theater afterwards, and he said if someone came out and told him, wow, this movie made me feel really uh, great because I could predict just about everything that happened in the film, which you can. If you've seen sci-fi films, you'll be able to predict most of the things that happen in the film. Now, I'm not saying that necessarily bad. It is visually entertaining, and I did love like the story, but if you're looking at it being an original sci-fi film, something deep like the movies that it has borrowed from, uh, you may be a bit disappointed. I still enjoyed Oblivion. I would say pay for a matinee price, three stubs in my book, visually special effects are fantastic. Uh, while there were no surprises, I was entertained and enjoyed the characters, though I didn't have a lot of connection to the characters, so I didn't really care what happened to them, but it was still a fun time at the movie theater. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Until next time, keep that ticket stuff.